After years of scandal and public outrage over politicians' expenses, the Prime Minister has decided to act. Malcolm Turnbull has announced a complete overhaul of the entitlement system, and he's also accepted the resignation of his health minister. Susan Lee had been heavily criticised for billing taxpayers for at least 20 trips to the Gold Coast, where her family owns two properties. In a moment, we'll look at the likely changes to politicians' entitlements. But first, here's Ashlyn McGee from Parliament House. Politicians are elected to serve the public. We are dealing with other people's money. And the Australian people are entitled to see that we are spending it wisely. At the moment, it seems they're not. Now, today I'm announcing important changes to the management of parliamentarians' work expenses. A New Year's resolution, prompted in part by Susan Lee, who charged taxpayers for at least 20 trips to the Gold Coast to buy an apartment and attend glitzy New Year's Eve parties. She insists she's done nothing wrong, but today stepped down from the ministry anyway. I believe that's the right judgment. She's made a judgment uh, that is in, I believe, in the interest of the government. All the minister's travel has been reviewed, but the Prime Minister wouldn't say what was found. It's put other ministers' claims in the spotlight. There's the Foreign Minister Julie Bishop's taxpayer-funded trips to the Portsea Polo and Spring Racing Carnival. And the $5,500 bill for these three ministers to enjoy a bank's hospitality at the 2013 AFL Grand Final. Politicians should be seen to be spending money in circumstances where it enables them to do their work. The issue is the line between work and leisure isn't always clear. I'm sorry, but the reason I was invited isn't because I'm Steve Chobo. I was invited because I'm the trade minister. It sounds pretty dishonest, really. It's, it seems very inappropriate use of money. I agree that it's good networking, but definitely clear guidelines. The grand final is a pretty popular event. I don't think that uh, we should be paying for them to go and enjoy that experience. What needs to be changed is, is the rules, so that everyone knows and they know but they shouldn't do that. And that's exactly what the Prime Minister's announced. Sweeping changes to the rules in a bid to bring them in line with the public's expectations. And he'll be hoping that's enough to make all the bad publicity go away. We've, we've had the last question. I just want to say that tomorrow, I look forward to seeing some of you again uh, when I'll be hosting the Prime Minister of Japan, Shinzo Abe. A short reprieve until Susan Lee's replacement in the health portfolio is announced next week. Ashlyn McGee, ABC News, Canberra.